Hey guys, what is going on? It is Deboki here once again, and it's time for another Maple Story video. I'm here on my Mercedes Deboking, and I'm going through the Mulung Dojo. It's been a super long time since I've done this, and I thought I'd go and give it a shot. Let me tell you guys, Mulung Dojo is a lot harder than I remembered it being. I'm hitting like a wet noodle in here, and these bosses are baddies. They're tough. They're bullies, and I just get owned at Hill at the very end, but I hope you guys do enjoy the video. It's like going down memory lane right now. Very nostalgic, just hitting all these old school bosses, and it was a a lot of fun but anyways ladies and gents the other day my friend Jin and I were talking and it got my brain to a little bit and you guys know how it goes I start overthinking things and I start analyzing it and I need to come and share it with you guys so I was trying to see what you guys thought on this whole subject so it's a very popular common question that's asked of this who am I and it's usually asked when we're hitting this identity crisis and we see it in movies a lot it's a very popular scene of the person standing there on a mountain or a rooftop screaming who am I and it's so dramatic but really though, who are we? And you know, seems like a very simple question, right? It's a very common question, but yet it's so deep and complex. And it's pretty interesting because when people ask who are you, we usually just say our name, right? When someone asks who am I, I say David. I don't usually say that I'm an introverted, awkward around girls, shy, video game obsessed, anime lover person. No, I don't, I don't scare them off. I just say my name is David. Nowadays it's a lot easier though to kind of quote unquote identify ourselves. We have a lot of labels that are out there. A lot of different sexualities, religions, races, genders, and I'm not going to get too deep into it guys, but I think it's pretty cool though how we can kind of help identify ourselves with these labels. So I was kind of curious the other day and I was kind of googling all the different types of sexualities that are out there because when I was growing up I kind of only knew about three, three most maybe, but now there's like a list over 50 and it's growing, it's crazy, and I was like thinking wow, they're coming up with a lot of different types of sexualities, and the same goes for religions and possibly believe in genders and races and everything, but any kind of ideas that you can kind of think about, the list is just growing. It's been kind of popular these days to kind of try to label ourselves with these gender roles or kind of the type of categories because it's easier to kind of know who we are with these roles. And this is where the epiphany kind of hit me. After I was looking at this list of 50 plus odd different types of sexualities that were out there and still growing, I was thinking to myself, this list is getting bigger and it's not going to stop. And it hit me because I realized something that we all know is that we're each an individual different person and it's kind of insane to think about but that whole saying of like we are like a snowflake not one of us are the same that is true we there is no one that's me there's no one that's you and don't get me wrong guys I think it's super cool that there's these identities and these labels out there but I think we have to remember that these are a little bit more like guidelines to help us figure out who we are you might not agree 100% with a certain group or an identity, but that's totally fine because you're totally different than everyone else in this world. You're not going to have the same thoughts and the ideas. And you know, I see it a lot of times where people kind of get depressed and down in the slums because they don't really know who they are. They're not really sure where they fit in. They're different from everyone else. And that's a good thing. Let me just tell you that because we're supposed to be different from everyone else. That's how people are. There's not a single person out there that is going to be the same. Sure, we can try to act the same as someone else or try to look the same as someone else but the thing is that we will each have our own individual mind and we'll think differently and that's the beauty of it guys is that we are individuals we are different from everyone else and we are us you know it's it's I am me and you are you and that's just so cool so I guess guys what I'm just trying to say is embrace who you are don't worry if you don't have a label or identity and if you're not sure who you are right now because you're not supposed to really know you are you I mean there's not one single person out there that has experienced you you're doing it you're doing it for the very first time and that is something so cool you're making a footprint here and it's, it's so exciting to think about so anyways guys I want to know your guys thoughts and opinions on this whole subject of who are you I know there's a lot of different answers out there and this is why I love making these types of videos because I get to bounce these ideas back and forth with you guys and I get to hear some awesome answers because there's no right answer right I mean this is the the, the best thing about these life topics and questions definitely leave a thumbs up ladies and gentlemen if you guys did enjoy this video it make me a super happy panda and guys just keep your heads up out there enjoy who you are love yourself ladies and gents you are special you are unique and you are amazing this has been Deboki. And I'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye.